The arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. The arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. But it doesn't bend of its own volition. It takes hard work. Hard work that we have to do in 2018 in Illinois, and in 2020 in this country. A lot of hard work ahead, but we can do it together. Thank you. Good morning, women! Good morning, marchers! This is an amazing crowd out on such an important day, and we are all here today because we care enough about ourselves and our families and our country and our future to stand up and to speak out for our rights. And I promise you that if we stay strong and we stay together, there is nothing that we cannot do. There is nothing that we cannot change. We can create the communities and the cities and the country that we deserve and that we can be proud of. That is the promise of our democracy. So stay strong, sisters. Stay engaged, brothers. Stay organized all. Let's make human rights a reality for everybody. Thank you. I'm Sherry Bustos, and I'm a member of Congress from the western part of the state, and it's great to be here in Chicago. Do you know this crowd could fill two soldier fields? Awesome! Just a couple thoughts. Remember how we felt the day after the election? We felt knocked down. And I was thinking about that, and I thought about the suffragettes and the modern-day suffragettes here today. We felt knocked down. They felt knocked down, but what did they do? They got back up and they persevered. What did civil rights icons John Lewis and Rosa Parks do? They were knocked down, but they got back up again. So what I want to leave you with today is this. We've got a big fight ahead of us, but today is the first day of the new history. Don't leave today without making sure that you stay involved. Support a woman running for office. Run for office yourself. And make sure that we make a difference from here on out. Thanks, everybody. Well, hello. I'm Congressman Bill Foster. Best known as the only PhD scientist in the United States Congress. So... So you can either cheer or cry. That's your choice. <laughs> but so often, attacks on women's rights these days come as an attack on science. And when that happens, I will have your back. Thank you all.